and I have a really healthy relationship with food and I love to eat. I can't do like an all protein diet. I can't do a diet at all. I can't do like, oh, I'm because then I'm not gonna be able to eat anything. Like I just, for me, I need to do something realistic and I feel like Weight Watchers is the only thing that's realistic because you can eat whatever you want. I can be really good all day and just have salads with a little bit of like lemon um, juice and a little bit of olive oil and maybe use one or two points and still have like 20 points left over and I can have a burger. Do you know what I mean? So like for me, that's more realistic. So that's what I've been doing for the last couple of months. And we started doing a workout class called the fit shop um we've been going three to four times a week it's so hard um i said this on my youtube video which i haven't posted i'm editing it now i honestly don't know how to explain what it is but it's basically like every day is broken up into a different type of workout so like one day we do half boxing half flow and flow is like imagine you're doing yoga right but like imagine you're in a downward dog position and then you go from downward dog straight into like you flow into the push-up and then you do like 10 push-ups and you flow back into the downward dog but instead of stopping and getting up you like then take your leg up and you're pulsing your leg and then you're like kicking your leg in and out and it's like you're never stopping and it's so hard and the movement seems so easy and then they put like ankle weights but it's so humbling the first time i took the class my friend Jackie was like, you need to come. It's incredible because she, we saw her and she looks like in the best shape she's ever been. She's always been really fit, but now she's like in the best shape of her life. And she just had her second baby and she goes there. She's very committed. And she's like, don't give up. She goes, I like walked out the first three, four times. I didn't finish. The first class that I took, I walked out shaking. I was like shaking, okay? I got, I got in the car, couldn't drive because I thought I was going to vomit. And I stopped a lot throughout the class. It's not like I did it fully and consistently because I definitely couldn't do it but I thought I was gonna throw up and I was just sitting there for 10 minutes, like just trying to calm down. And then I just kept going and going and going and going and now I'm obsessed. And so like I was saying, so the, one of the classes like half boxing, half flow, then there's one called the box, which is basically like this box and you like jump on the box, you do like leg work on one, like you put one leg on, one leg off and you're constantly going and going and this and that. It's a lot, it's like a mix of Pilates and yoga and boxing and tracy anderson i don't know if you guys know tracy anderson but it's really hard i'm like drenched but like my my the weight has been just coming off and it's incredible i love it do you ever make a somebody asked me yesterday on live if we ever made a if i ever could make a video about my hermes bag collection and somebody asked about like jewelry collection but i don't ever have everything at my house at the same time we put everything in we put a lot of most of our stuff into the safety deposit box so i don't like to keep everything at home so what self i don't use self tanner i don't like self tanner it's a personal preference see that's another this is a good one somebody actually two brands one brand that you guys all know of and probably have used if you use self tanner had asked me to collaborate with them and even though the paycheck was good the money's good i said no because i don't use self-tanner and it's not a natural synergy because i don't use self-tanner i've always been very open about that i don't like self-tanner i hate the way it smells i don't know it's just to me like it's not for me and i don't like having the colors i don't like i did a self-tanner um twice once when i was in high school once when i was in college for an event because i was living in new york and we were going to a wedding and i was wearing like an open dress and i was like oh my god i'm so pale like i'm used to being tan living in miami tanning beds the whole thing like back in the day can't believe i did that worst decision ever and like with my face in the, in the tanning bed and then i remember i got sprayed and i was like this is like gross i hated the way i smelled and it was not for me so no is the goyard tote worth it I have like mixed reviews and feelings on the Goyard tote because it's really annoying when you go and spend the money for it and then like you see somebody walking with like a $50 knockoff version of it that looks like exactly the same. So like if you're gonna use it for work and it's gonna get beat up, just get the, get the fake one. And I would usually never tell you because I don't buy anything fake, like I'd rather not have it. But just that specifically because if you're like walking new york i feel like they're all over fifth avenue and that's just like the goyard thing just really fucks me up i don't know the top is from dish it's two like tank tops together what's my favorite thing about being a mom that i have a forever boyfriend i always say that to Aloni. i'm like liam's my forever boyfriend 
um if everything about being a mom i don't know it just changes you you just don't give a fuck about a lot of things am i allowed to curse on live i don't even know you honestly just don't care about a lot of stuff anymore like i say no it's the best i used to not say no i used to be like oh like okay like i used to do things because i just didn't want to and i felt uncomfortable and i didn't want to hurt someone's feelings but i'm like no nope 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 i'm prioritizing liam just it just changes you i don't know even like for work events, I was saying this to like my management team the other day. I was like, I feel like a lot of brands think I'm like such an asshole because I like never go to like influencer stuff, but I'm very particular about like where I go and like how I just, uh, how I, um, use my time. But it's because I can't go to an event like five, six. I want to be here for bath time. You know, like I don't want to go here and do this because it's going to take away from this. And like, by the time I drive there, it's going to be like an hour. And then I have to be at the event for like an hour or two. And then that's like four hours that I miss from being for my son, you know? So I'm very, very specific about like the things that I do. And so I feel like things like that change you because you prioritize your time differently. Yeah. Thoughts on stagecoach. I don't know. I'm not like, you know, Aloni has, is from California. He's never been to Coachella. So we have found each other because I'm not like a music festival girl either. I've gone to Ultra. I've gone to All Points West. That was the best music festival I've ever gone to. It was in New York. It was like back in the day. I don't think they ever did an All Points West after that. Um, but they closed out with Coldplay. And I was crying in the crowd because they released like uh, paper butterflies everywhere. And it was the most beautiful moment. And it was really muddy. So if anybody was there that year, our shoes all got messed up. But I've been to Ultra. I've been to Electric Zoo, which was like the thing back in the day in 2012, 13. Would I ever do that again? Absolutely not. Um, I got invited this year by a brand that also was kind of weird. It was really nice and like thoughtful that they invited me, but it was strange because we are... I mean, if you guys know me, like, you know that like if I would have went with that brand, you'd have been like, that's so fucking weird. Like you would not expect me to go with that brand. With that brand. Um, being invited to go to Coachella, but it's just like not my thing. I'm not into stagecoach. I'm not into Coachella. Like unless like I had a friend or something that was performing that I was going to support, it's not for me. Like I wouldn't spend all that money to fly there, get a hotel, like do the whole thing, outfit, outfits. It's not for me. 